I just wondered if you could spare a glass. A glass of that lemonade over there. It's been a long walk into town and the day is so warm. And Charlie is still feeling poorly and with the kids and the harvest coming in, I've had to fix the well pump alone. What with Charlie being laid low with the fever and oh, I would do just about anything for an ice cold glass of lemonade. Anything. Just about. I'm sorry. Um, I feel so helpless. I walked all this way for Charlie's pills. I left Doc Ritter's parched. I don't have any money left over. What with these pills and the licorice I promised the girls? Won't you have a glass of lemonade with me? Wait. Mm. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh God, I, I, I don't, I don't know Little House on the Prairie, and you know, best I could do. Obviously, under normal circumstances, I would have gone on a shopping spree for you. But come on, you've been a fan for how long, babe? I've never seen that show. I googled it, but you need this before your dinner and I have a full schedule. Oh, happy anniversary, Michael. Number 14. Wow, 14 years. Oh, um, I bought this for our anniversary. Um, you became a Lily Lively fan and subscribed five years ago today your ninth anniversary present to yourself. It's a mister, isn't it pretty? It came yesterday and hey, look, I can use it for my plants and for my face. Ah, <sighs> it's so hot here. Hydration's important. Staying wet. Oh, do you remember, um, your, your 10th anniversary, I borrowed the neighbor kid's wooden sword. I poured myself into that gunmetal gray bodice. I threw on my black velvet coat and I stepped into the shower all to shoot your Pirates of the Caribbean 3 request. Michael. Okay, can I tell you something I haven't told anyone? I bought this four weeks ago. I thought I'd use the time to learn to play and add a whole new skill set for requests from my subscribers. I haven't. You know, I've, um, I've been hearing about plans for the cities opening up again and another confession. I just thought, oh shit. What if that happened tomorrow? Nothing much would change for me. I work from home. I don't have many close friends since I moved. I don't have a book group. I don't belong to a temple or a church. I do yoga at home and no boyfriend since he went back to London in March and we just stopped texting each other. Why? I have no idea. But you know, I, 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 I seem to fall in love every time I go out. It's true, it's true. I fall in love so often, I'm beginning to realize it's not love at all. Now you and Mary Beth, that's love. You're so lucky. And so is she, of course. What are your plans for tonight's special dinner, I wonder? Last year, um, you took her to Vinegar Hill House by the East River. This year, you said you wanted to do a picnic in Central Park. I mean, you can still do a picnic. I always thought fire escapes so romantic. That's how I imagine your apartment. I hope that's where you're taking her. The fire escape with uh, pesto caprese sandwiches and a bottle of Sauvignon. If it's not raining. But 
we know how much you love the rain. And if it's not raining, well, the skies are so clear you'll be able to see the stars sparkling in a clean sky. What if we self-quarantined every spring for a month? I mean, not because of a virus, but, you know, for the environment. Over here on the left coast, I've never heard so many birds. I haven't learned how to play the piano. I think I know why. I've always liked working from home and this work is always steady. I'm in charge. For a minute the other day, I, I thought I couldn't taste my food and then I realized I forgot to put the, the minced garlic in and I hadn't salted yet either. And another symptom, loss of taste. I panicked and then, and then I smelled the garlic and I calmed down, but I, I think it's getting to me. I like this work, but maybe I need a shift. Okay, since I'm on this confessional streak, I should tell you that I'm glad I've been here for you when you needed. I should tell you that. Okay. Um, I really should wrap up here. I've got two more to do and you're three hours ahead and you need this before your special night. But hey, listen, this one is on me, okay? You were one of my first subscribers, a regularly lively fan. And I'm a good warm up. But you're the headliners. You and Mary Beth in sickness and in health. Happy anniversary.